Welcome to the Happy Humanoids Perspective, where your beliefs are challenged, thoughts provoked, and where you may find your happy place whether you like it or not. And here are your hosts, Edith and Miles. Woohoo! Woohoo, Homer. <laughs> are your thoughts provoked? <laughs> Welcome to our show. We are at uh, number 60. And uh, my name is Miles Kiever, and I am co hosting with my lovely wife. Hello, everyone. My name is Edith Ball, and I am a certified access consciousness facilitator as well. Mm -hmm. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our show. Yay. Yay. Where are you in the creation of your life? It's a great topic. We should do a podcast on that sometime. <laughs> hey, let's do it now. <laughs> let's create that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's getting to be the uh, end of the year and it's time like it seems to be a, a, an appropriate time to reflect back on our year and compare ourselves with other people and compare <laughs> ourselves with our past and see what we've created what we haven't created and how, how much judgment we can get ourselves into and how wrong we can make ourselves so we wanted to uh, maybe clear that stuff today and um, see what we would like to create with our lives and how to move forward in a different different approach mm -hmm. yeah yeah so, yep yeah so where are you where are you in the creation of your life mm -hmm. are you where you would like to be hmm. this is and probably since you listen to this you're a humanoid and you are never satisfied with your life so mm -hmm. you're not where you want to be so uh so yeah and at the same time yeah uh, what is it that keeps you from creating the life that you desire? Yeah, there are often, I just finished a foundation class uh, here. And um, I mean, well, I'm in Paris, but I was in Marseille yesterday, which is south of France, where I did this class. And what came up during this class is it's a lot about things in the past. And mm -hmm. it can be in this past, in this past life or past life as well. So please don't get yourself wrong if you cannot create your life. It's just that there's something in your energy that, that keeps you from uh, creating the life you desire. And it's not by judging you that you will be able to come out of it. It's about asking questions. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's about allowing you to become aware of that and the way to do it is about asking what question like something like what would it take for me to become aware of um, whatever blocks me or because sometimes we say oh you, you've got to choose but hey there are some times where we're not in a position to choose we feel like we are stuck we sense like we cannot move on with our life and and yeah and that's the thing are you stuck are you stuck? And if you are stuck, where? Where? Where are you stuck? Is it here or somewhere else? Are you stuck in another dimension? It can be that too. And you perceive that from there. Uh, and is it like, are you stuck in you? And since when? Since when are you stuck? Is it like, what do you perceive? Is it like not so long ago or very a long time ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that could be, yeah, what is the lie that keeps you stuck? That keeps you from moving forward. Not keeps you stuck, but that keeps you, keeps you from moving forward. Mm -hmm. what, what is it that you go in? What is this universe that you go in? And you believe that because you are there, uh, you cannot move on. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, ask yourself, is it mine? Is it yours? Because we are these, you know, these psychic people and we perceive, uh, we perceive energy so easily. And because we feel it in our energy, energetic feel, we, we think that it's ours. But hey, most of the time it's not ours. Mm -hmm. So it's about asking questions. It's about playing with that because, you know, it's about opening up to this energetic um, energetic aspect of you because this is where everything is is present this is where you will find the the 
the uh, whatever uh, prevents you uh, to move forward. So yeah, and this is the reason why we're asking questions. It's about becoming aware of whatever is present in our energetic field. So, and uh, as we say in access, as an infinite being, you are in energy, space, and consciousness. So by asking questions, you want to become aware and touch being present and receiving the energy of whatever is present in your energy. So, so yeah. So uh, everywhere you believe that where you are right now, you would have, you would never overcome this. Well, well, you know, and create and destroy it all times a godzillion. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, all that shorts, boys and beyonds. An interesting thing for me, like a subtle difference that I um, got was the different, the idea of creating my life versus trying to make my life better. And that is a space of, like we said, we want to have a better life. We want to have, you know, like um, better relationships, whatever, more money, better health, whatever. And that's, that's a way in which that, um, what I want to say is if we, if we are stuck and we're stuck in something, the only that we, way that we can be stuck is that we're judging ourselves based on something. We're judging probably from the past. We're judging ourselves based on other people or instead of choosing something different and choosing to have what you desire or what I desire. So we have a tendency or I have a tendency to go back into the past and try to fix something. And instead of like choosing something different. So that's, that's um, for me, that was an important point. It's like not trying to fix my life, not trying to make my life better. What if I could choose something different? That was, I can just take this idea of what my life is or the limitations that I think I have, I can just set them aside and then choose something different. And that, and that point, in that way that we can have more possibilities and just sort of start with a clean slate and asking questions, like you were saying, Edith, is like really the key to moving forward. It's this idea that we, that we think that um, we've got to have it all figured out before we can move forward. And that is, um, also, based on our past, trying to figure out, trying to have a plan or a goal of where we want to go. So if I, if I have an idea of like, well, I want to, in one year, I want to have this done, or I want to complete this, and I'm already th sort of fantasizing about what it is that I see myself doing in a year, and I'm trying to use that as my goal, I'm moving forward in that as a goal, and if I don't reach that, then I made myself wrong, and there's no way that I can have the awareness of how the universe is going to show up for me. Like, you know, it never shows up the way that we think it's going to show up. And by thinking it's going to show up a way that I, that I've set in place as a goal, I'm just setting myself up to fail. Instead of just asking a question, like what it is it that I desire to add to my life and not so much change, but what do I want to add to my life that's going to create more fun, more expansion, more, joy that I haven't acknowledged. So everywhere that we're trying to uh, look through the rear view mirror to move forward and it only ends up in crashes and disasters, will you please destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. Right and wrong, getting back, puck and pot, all nine shorts, plus and beyonds. Yeah, do you believe you cannot create your life? Mm. Okay. And, and what does that mean, creating your life? It's about creating is about, well, well, I'm going to repeat, repeat it. It's about doing or being something that has never existed before. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you're doing that every day. You know, you meet someone, you have a conversation. This conversation had never happened before, has never been created. So you create, a, a con you create your life. Mm. You create something. You prepare a meal. The meal is not, is not, is not done. So you, you mix energies together and you prepare a meal. Well, energies, we call, uh, we call that uh, food. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, yeah. So you are creating your life right now. What if it's about acknowledging that, that you are creating your life? 
maybe now it's about, okay, so I'm creating my life right now. What is this space that I desire to create? What is this new space or this new possibility that I would like to create? And who am I required to be here to create this? Because you can tell me, yeah, it's easy for me to create a meal because I'm used to do it. And yeah. And do you always create the same thing when you cook? Like, no, sometimes people are creating something else. So it, what is requ well, it requires something else. Since you've been um, gone, I've been having uh, peanut butter sandwiches pretty much all <laughs> every day. So yeah, I'm sure. I don't have anyone to cook for, so I, uh, <laughs> I might go through the trouble. <laughs> yeah, and I miss your meals too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and yeah, it's about what is the energy that you don't allow yourself to be that will allow you to create your life with so much ease. So everywhere you judge yourself from being this energy, the energies that are required, and everywhere, you, or you judge someone else to be like this, and you don't allow yourself to be this energy that will create your life with so much ease. Will you now uncreate and destroy it all, well, with more ease? Will you now uncreate and destroy it all times a godzillion? Right and wrong, getting bad, pot and pocket on short spoils and beyonds. Yeah, and making those choices, like like you were saying, Edith, like choosing something that you're creating in our life, we're each creating our life every day. It's just taking more of a, having more awareness in the choices that we're making. <clears throat> and each of those choices create some other future possibility, like we're creating our future based on the choices that we're making now. And the more that we get in touch with what is fun for us, what is it that lights us up um, the more that we can begin to choose in that direction and trust that and the more that we move in that direction um, the easier you know something will something will rise above something will just stand up and like get our attention and following that that lead or that path and we don't have to know where it's going to go you know it's i was thinking um uh, the other day, just how, <clears throat> like, looking at my past as just um, interesting points of view, how the choices that I've made have brought me into different directions that I could not have in no, any way figured out or even, like, predicted. If I had a goal to do something, there's no way I could have done that. I would have been, I would have failed so many times. And it's something that's <clears throat> completely different that shows up. You know, it's like, like, for the yeah, just, it, it never shows up the way we think it's going to, going to. And the sooner that we can just let go of that and just follow the, the lightness, follow what's fun for us, the more possibilities of getting that trajectory in the direction that, that we desire to go. Because we're not going to create anything with something that we don't like to do. If we don't like to do something, it's really not going to, it's not going to create much. It's not going to, it's just, it's an effort if there's an effort to do something with what it is that we're trying to create, chances are it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be difficult. It's just not going to yeah. turn out mm -hmm. something great. Mm -hmm. And um, that book I was reading recently, um, Scott Adams was talking about doing things that are not, um, that don't require willpower. But choosing something in your life that you really desire to do, something that's interesting for you, something that, um, you don't think that it's work, you know, like Edith, when you're doing your classes, it's like you're there, like so many yeah. times you go way over the, the scheduled time because it's like you love what you're doing. You know, you love what you're doing. So it's not like work. Mm -hmm. If there's yeah. the, what's required is you've got to get the classes set up. You've got to arrange the things and hook up with people and interact in that way, which may not be um, the thing that gives you so much joy, but it's your idea of where you're going and what you love to do. Those things just, I'm guessing, are probably a lot easier for you because it's like you're getting to do something that you love to do. Yeah. And so doing something that we don't like to do is really a destruction of what, it's a, it's a destruction of the possibilities of our future that we desire. So everywhere that we're uh, destroying the platform of future possibilities to maintain the, the history of, um, the life that we've had, we destroyed and created all that time. It's got a zillion. 
Yes, right and wrong, bad for talk all nine shorts, pause and beyond. Are you, I'm leaving something uh, lately, it's very interesting. I create my life and I, I, I'm succeeding right now and I like it very much. And at the same time, I'm in front of, because I'm asking questions, I'm, I'm always asking for more and I'm always asking for more. And if you feel yourself like you're in the, in the middle of something where you are stuck or you cannot move on or like it's like, Ugh, well, celebrate. Celebrate because were you aware of that before? Were you aware of that before? What if it's life? Like we're, you, I'm sure you clear a lot of stuff in your life. And the more you clear, uh, the more you move forward, the more, yeah, things comes up as well. Things inside of you come up. And it's what if it's about just allowing this, acknowledging, acknowledging that this is, huh, okay, this is something that comes, I ask for that outcome, I, come, I ask for success and everything that I have in front of me right now is just about me failing or me being in a space where I can now move forward and, hey, you ask for something and the universe shows you whatever energy is there that prevents you from moving forward. What if it's time for you to clear all that? So yeah, and for me, it was in the middle of the success that I'm creating right now I looked at some memories that were there in my energy of me, the desire to not being in, well, for me to being inexistent or non-existent. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and when it comes the time to create my, like, the life, you know, our life, when we're not there, well, it's, it can be very hard to, to, to create it. So, yeah, so the, the thing is, where are you? Mm -hmm. Where, where are you? If you are, are you in existence or are you non-existent? So what if it's about creating that and to allow yourself to be present here? And it's not about making yourself wrong. For me, it was like memories from past life, memories from this lifetime, well, things that I perceived in my universe, in other people's universe that I bought as mine. And I made some choices, some decision where I didn't want to be here as well. So it's about looking at this and, and choosing to uncreate and destroy all that to allow ourselves, you know, to be in another space and to be in a space where we can just, we can clear whatever is there for us to allow ourselves the ease that we know that is possible. I know that ease is, is, uh, is there for me. I always known that. And, um, and I'm going there, and it's about not being led by this limitation, these energies that are there. And it's about me choosing and not them choosing for me. And it's about that. It's not about believing in them that they are stronger than me, because they're not. I am the most potent person in my life, and so you are. You are, well, not in my life, but in your, <laughs> in your life. <laughs> You're talking to me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Are I'm talking to our audience right now. <laughs> Only about being the important thing in your life. Yeah, well, it's yeah. about, yeah, you are the most potent person in your life. And I mean, maybe, uh, well, you are the one for you and I right. am the one for me, you know. And I got it. We are the world. No. <laughs> it's not in that at all. It's not in the, so, so yeah, and uh and it's about bringing you back in that space. Hey, I am the most potent person in my life. So what am I choosing with this? Even if you feel like you are, uh, this thing is so much stronger than you are. Okay, I perceive as if it's stronger than I am. Cool. What else is possible? And I destroy an uncreative where I feel smaller than that. It's about just playing with the ideas here that are there and not making anything solid and not... Uh, keeping yourself in that space and believing this is what you are or yeah so yeah for me it for me it's about having point of reference mm -hmm. point of reference okay when an infinite being choose this when an infinite being choose to stop themselves to create whatever they desire i don't think so would an infinite being stop themselves from uh or would an infinite being choose to be 
in exist uh, do we say in existent or on existent in existence in existent or non existent i don't think so either would an infinite being choose to have something stronger than they are i don't think so either so this is like i go back in that space of this infinite being that, that i truly am that i truly be and uh, from that space i ask question about that about me and what I'm living in, whatever, because it's just energies. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's just energies that you are in. And the more you become aware of that energy, the more you can uncreate all that because this energy, you created it or you perceived it from somewhere, someone, and you believe it was yours. So, or you concluded, you judged something or, yeah, so what if no, nothing of that is true? So everywhere, everywhere you believe that you cannot, you cannot be this potent, this potency, the most potent person in your life. And everywhere you refuse to be the most potent in your life. Whoa. Well, you know, and create and destroy it all times a godzillion. Yes, mm. right wrong, getting bad, pot and pocket on his shorts, boys and guns. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, the idea of like, say, being stuck in or, uh, a pattern or something or not being able to move forward or not choosing the life that I desire or maybe you're not choosing the life that you desire or whatever. Um, from, from me, it's like looking at my past and seeing where I've been stuck and like getting into like sort of patterns or ruts or sort of thoughts and patterns or whatever and seeing the difference in making one little choice and making a demand to, to do just one little something, whatever that is. Um, like Edith, you were saying about clearing everything that shows up, you know, if you're in, in that space that you're stuck in, or if I'm stuck in something, asking a question, you know, what would it take to move beyond this? And sometimes it's like, there's this energy of, for me in the past, how if I'm so stuck, it's like, I don't even want to ask the question. You know, there's like, I'm not, maybe I asked the question, but it doesn't even, it doesn't penetrate anything. It's just like, it just bounces off something because I've so invested in this idea of what I'm stuck in. And what I, I read something interesting about, uh, there's a, a domino uh, progression like this um, many years ago, this guy did a study and he had one domino, which is like, you know, two inch high. And he began to uh, see what the effect would be if he increased the domino by 50%. So the next one would be a little bit bigger. And then the next one would be half a, as large again and so on. And the energy that this was, um, the energy of movement forward that these dominoes could propel as just stepping up half a month, half as again, the energy was amazing. Like uh, just after, I think it was, well, you can just do the math, but it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then at, when you're at eight progressions, you're about the same height as like a three foot piece of material. And so what I want to say with that is the more that we get going in that direction, it's not just one domino moving another domino, the same size and another domino, and there's this domino effect. It's more about the energy coming forward of having this um, demand on ourselves to move forward that little bit of energy, that little bit of effort, it moves forward. And then the next time, if you put just a little bit more effort into that, you've doubled this, this energy and this energy together creates more energy and it becomes this huge amount of force that moves forward. And so it's just, it's kind of the same theory as like if you have a penny and you double a penny after 30 days, how many, how many, how much money will you have? It'll be like millions of dollars. I forgot what it is, but it's a lot of money. It's the same kind of thing, the energy of just moving forward, making that little effort to just like, okay, I'm just, okay, I'm really stuck here. I'm just going to, for right now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to choose this one little thing. And then I, I can just give up after that if it doesn't work or whatever. And just keep doing that little bit more effort and pretty soon it's, there's this energy of moving forward that is, it sort of carries you, you know? And, um, and I, I've been in that space several times in my life when I've like worked out or been in a, a, in a group of people where I was like the beginner. 
in the beginning, it was such a struggle to get to this place of movement forward and trying to keep up with people and whatever. And then at a certain point, you just rise up above that. And then you're like ahead of the pack. And then you're like coasting and just it's become so much fun. And that, there's something about that that I carry through with. If we can identify what it is that brings us joy in our life, what is it that's fun for us? And make it a little effort in that direction. You know, aside from what everyone else says, aside from what we tell ourselves, make a little bit of effort in that direction. And then just see how that, creates something different and creates our life in a different way to something that we truly desire. And at some point it just becomes like this snowball effect of really, we're just along for the ride and enjoying and choosing at a much faster, easier, expansive space. So everywhere that we think that the beginning effort is going to be that way throughout, throughout the process. So why even bother? Will you destroy it and uncreate all of that times to Godzilla Yes, right and wrong about the talk on nine shorts, pause and mute. And I would like to add something about that. Is it an effort or is it a choice? It's a choice, but it seems like an effort. Like okay. the idea of like, mm -hmm. um, I, okay, the, the effort is the idea of like this, the challenge in my mind, for example, like thinking that something's hard and coming to a conclusion or judging myself instead of asking a question. You know, I'm going into the space of being stuck. And then that's, that's the effort is like, but the, the asking question is the easy part. That's where it becomes easy is when we can more focus on being the question, living the question, and then not knowing where we're going, just knowing the energy that feels fun for us and moving forward in that direction. Okay, what else is possible? What else could create more of this energy? What, what's required of me today to create more of that? And following that and trusting more of that and developing that sort of rhythm into that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, and, and at the same time, um, I don't talk to you, I talk about the people who are going to listen to this. Mm -hmm. Do you desire to create your life? Mm -hmm. Or do you want people to do it for you? Are you in are you expecting people to do it for you? No, I don't want to create my life, but I don't like it. And I would like it to change. So do you expect this to change? Do you expect this, yeah, for someone else to take care of it? Mm -hmm. I remember in 2000, I went into a business. I went into business and I could not move on with my life. I was, the desire was there, the, you know, and, and the desire sometimes is not enough. Well, for me, it was not enough. I was mm -hmm. so stuck. And I realized that in my, I guess, some conscious or in my energy, there was something where, I was expecting my mom to do it for me because when I was a child, hey, when I could not do anything, I could not do something, my mom was there and was doing it for me. So, well, I just realized that I, became, I just became aware of that two or three years after that though, but, that was, <laughs> but I was like, oh my God, sometimes just one, one thought or one choice, one decision we made in the past that can block us from moving forward. You have a question. Yeah, it's about, yeah. It is, um, so what you were trying to create with your business, is it something you really wanted to do or is it just something that you? Yeah, I really wanted to, I really wanted, I really desired to be, uh, to, to move on with my life. And the thing is. But the business. Was the business something that you wanted to do? I'm not sure I get your question. So you were saying that in 2000, you tried to create, you had this business and you were waiting for your mom to, you realize that you're sort of waiting, waiting for it to create. To yeah. And at the same time, I didn't know what to do. Well, I didn't know what to do. I was, was I studying and coaching at that time? Yeah, I was studying and coaching and that's the thing. I didn't have a clear idea of what I would like. I, would, I wanted to make money. That's okay. the thing. And that's the thing. When you want to make money, you know what? You, it's, not a, it's not the good reason. Well, for me, that was not. And it seems like for a humanoid, it's not the, the right, the good reason. And I made it at the beginning for my, um, in my, when I began to be in business, when I left my job and, I've been guided to leave my job and to, you know, to 
create my life. It was about creating my life and creating my business as well. And I begin at the same place, you know, it, it was about creating money. And geez, I was so, I think that was one of the, the part of my life where I was so stressed because I was thinking about money. I was not including me. I was just, I was not included in the equation of my life. It was about money, money, money. And when I realized that, and I realized to, okay, to change it, it's about making a choice to change something, to change. And things become so much easier. Mm -hmm. It's about, okay, what is it that I desire to create? Yeah, there is the aspect of money. And there is the aspect for me to, uh, to be a contribution into people's life and, you know, to have a chance to meet a lot of people and to, yeah, it's, it's so much more than that. It's, it's being a value in my life. And this thing about being a contribution in people's life is it's really present in me, is really uh, nourishing me. And like in the last four days with the foundation class that I had, just to be present and to be there and being that kind of, um, how can I say, that kind of channel for consciousness, you mm -hmm. know, and asking a question from that space for people to become aware of their own lives was such, first, it's relaxed so much my body and so much my being and it's it nourishes something in me and and i perceive like i see it like what it creates in people's life and the change that it can create it's like wow i want more of that in my life so so yeah i want more of that mm -hmm. and what if more of that would create more money you know it's like mm -hmm. sometimes it's about what what if it's about choosing to be someone to be a certain level, to be a certain energy. What is it that you would like to be in your life? What is it the space that you would like to be in? What is this energy that you would like to create more in your life? And from there, it's about asking questions about this, these energies. So what would it take for me to be more ease? And of course, I have more ease because when we be more ease, well, we have more ease. What would it take for me to be more relaxed? And yeah, and relax into my creation. That's another thing as well. Do you relax into your creation? So, so yeah, so uh, what would it take for you to choose uh, who you desire to be and invite these energies into your life by asking questions and everything that doesn't allow this ease because this is where this is this is where ease begins in our life it's because we are as i said in the beginning we're an energy space and consciousness and when we ask for energy we ask more for for us whatever energy we desire to be hey what if it was is it light i'm asking you uh, i'm asking you hey is it light for you to ask for energies to be and to live from and to function from and everything that doesn't allow that we don't create and destroy it all times a god so yeah. right and wrong getting bad pot and pocket all my shorts boys and beyonds well i think we're at the end of our show today any last comments yeah so you can create whatever you desire in your life because you're the most potent person in your life maybe you don't and that doesn't mean that you don't know how to do it that you cannot do it mm -hmm. it's about asking question and you don't have to figure it out you just have to ask one question and follow whatever guidance you receive that is light that is the time for you to do it just do it and trust trust the process you yeah. listen to that little voice that's telling you mm. that little whisper yeah. of a voice even if it's so different, that's the thing. Sometimes it can be so different and mm -hmm. so weird and not, you know, and your logic is going to try to figure out or trying to make the dots, create the dots. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not in the, you don't create or you don't connect the dots in front. You connect the dot in your past. You look at it from the past and this mm -hmm. is where you connect the dot, but don't try to connect the dot in front of your life because it, it won't make any sense. Yep. So yeah, so do you have anything else you would like to add? Yep, 
That's good. Okay, cool. Thanks for listening, and please give us a honk of support by subscribing, commenting, and sharing the show with your friends. Or, if you didn't like the show, please share it with your enemies. Thanks again, guys. See you next time. Thanks again, everyone. Bye-bye.